hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is Trisha Career Man's Creations and um, I have a new toy that I want to share with you guys that I got for Christmas and by the way I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and um, yeah I hope you got everything you wanted whether uh, you know whatever it was um, if you want something specific or you wanted something for good health or you wanted, some, wanted it for somebody else or whatever um, I just hope y'all had a blessed Christmas. Um, <clears throat> I didn't get much, and I really, and I didn't, because I, I didn't know what I wanted. Um, I got money, and I got a printer. That was it. I was not particular about what I wanted. I didn't care if I get any, and if I didn't get anything, because um, Brian, my husband, asked him, "What do you want for Christmas?" I don't know. I have everything, and I didn't. I said I don't want anything because I don't know what I, I. I got everything that I want. And, um, <clears throat> then I, wait a minute, then I got on, I was, I don't know how I got into, or decided that I wanted a printer, a 3D printer, if I just come across it on YouTube, or, I don't know, but I, I said, I know I want, I want a 3D printer. Okay, so, um, he was telling me, he kept telling me, you better go ahead and order before, um, I don't know what I get for Christmas, guys. <laughs> I, I mean... And then he asked me, somebody asked me, I was going to wrap it. Like, uh, no, I already know what it is. Why should I wrap my own gift and then unwrap it? But anyway, I always, pretty much always know what I'm going to get for Christmas. Because um, he asked me what I want, and then he gets it for me. So, what's the point? I, I'm the one who's ordering it. <laughs> so, there's no point in wrapping it. Um, but anyway, but I did get him, um, I got him some, uh, car, some leather car seat, uh, some leather seats for the car. Uh, in front and back seat, um, they weren't bad, but they wasn't uh, good. We've had the we got the car, in, you know, twenty fourteen was brand new, and so the seats are kind of worn out. And um, I didn't know where else to get him, so I try to get things that I know people will like. You know, not something about just some random thing. I you know I try to put a little thought into it. Um, but anyway, so that's what I got him. I also got to make a guitar because I remember one time he was, I think I told y'all that, when he was saying that he wanted to, I know I'm rambling, guys, but I got to tell you this. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm just rambling. But anyway, um, I think I told you guys when he was, uh, I had fixed up the, the spare bedroom and the room and the house for him. That was my initial craft room when we first moved into the house. And then that's when I bought my building because it wasn't big enough. And then uh, one year for Christmas, I cleaned it up and I set up for his man cave he used it maybe twice three times maybe that was it so I took it back because this became a catch all so then he comes he said he said I need you to clean that room up so I can learn how to play a guitar okay first of all you don't need your own special room to do that and yeah you're gonna learn how to play a guitar so I remember that so I did get him a guitar he's gonna take it to his cousin's husband because I, I didn't never notice until he mentioned it that Kevin knows how to tune a guitar, and then he's going to learn how to take, he's going to go on YouTube or somewhere and learn how to play it. i like, you know what? I think I want a guitar. I'm going to learn how to play one, too, so I might go back and get me one. But anyway, um, so that's what I got him, and I'm going to show you what he got me. I opened the box, but I didn't take it out. Uh, and the only reason why I opened it, because um, it was Christmas, and I opened the box. And so, it's a big box. <laughs> and I'm not going to put it together on film. Um, it takes too long and this is a budget printer but I did a lot of reviews on it because like I said he was telling me you better hurry and order it because before it's Christmas and you're not gonna get her Christmas like I don't care if I'm good at Christmas or not I mean it's coming anyway um, you know I didn't tell him that I just said it to myself but anyway so um, I was looking at a couple and and I didn't want to get one that was too high you know that was ridiculous and this was a little over $200 and it's a budget that's uh, uh, 3d printer um but it's a good brand i did some reviews i was looking at the aquila uh brand uh 3d printers and there's another brand i was looking at and then i never looked at the uh the ender 3 um 3D printers, but I read, I watched some video, a few, I didn't watch it all the way through, but I did watch some videos on those, and the reason I didn't want to probably get them this quick, because it was like three, four hundred dollars, I'm like, I didn't want to get one that much, um, but then I come across the Inicubic Cobra, they have an Inicubic Cobra, Cobra Go, which is one I got, I got the Cobra Go, and they got the, the, uh, Inicubic Viper, <coughs> excuse me, um, and so, the Inicubic Cobra, I guess the first one, it's the it, it it's a good printer and 
um I've seen them I didn't see one on Amazon when I got it um and it that was the one that I thought I was getting until I went back and looked at it and that it come partially um assembled all you had to do was put you know two pieces together and a little inside but but and then like it was like over two hundred dollars almost three hundred and I said yeah and then I started looking again I saw the uh any uh, cubic cobra go and it's like okay I can get this one I'm thinking it was the same one until I went back and, and I was watching videos on it and then say cobra go then I looked back at the, my order and I said it's cobra go like ah crap I got one I got to put together. So I did watch some videos on putting it together, and some people said, you know, do, and I'm pretty good about putting things together. It'll take up to an hour, about four or five minutes to an hour, or something like that. So it's no big deal about putting it together. I was just trying to get a room at. But anyway, so I'm going to open the glass, guys. It's, this box is big. Um, let me see. It is about 20, wait a minute, 20 inches. 21 inches, um, by, I don't have my, my yard stick on here, guys, it's in the house, by 19 inch, uh, so it's a pretty big box, and, uh, and this is how it comes packed, they come real packaged, real good and packaged, and, um, I guess I didn't take anything out, this is in my way, I didn't take anything out while well, I took this out and I didn't it's the instructions on how to put it together and yeah that and some other pieces with the screws and some filaments and that's nothing it came with a thing of filament um uh a PLA filament I gotta I'll go back in the house and make get that in a minute and um uh, uh this is like which you strain through and it actually melts and uh prints the 3d they because that's what i did find out about prints when you get buy a new printer you they give you a little sample um but when i bought this the reason why i got this one because it also came with a big spool of it um even though the spool it was two separate orders and the spool i had to pay for the spool too but the spool was at a discount because it came with the printer uh, and it's in this cobra brand too cobra cobra whatever it's because it's called it's c o no k o b r a so i don't know if it's cobra or cobra but i've been saying cobra um so this is all the goodies in the box that it comes with this is the magnetic plate that um goes on this is the part that heats up and this is the part that's on top that is magnetic and it prints on top of this and then you can take this off when it cools off and you can bend it and it pop, supposedly it pops right off okay so this it comes in pieces if i remember correctly this is the print head over here the nozzle and other pieces in here so i gotta put together it's a lot of pieces in here um and so I'm going to take it back in the house and put it together because I'm, I don't have any room to put it out here and I don't think I'm going to leave it out here anyway. I'm going to put it in my craft room inside because um, it could take up to hours to print one thing. And they say that you really shouldn't leave it unattended um, for too long to um, when you're printing something. And most likely I'm not going to be out here for hours depending on what I'm printing. If I'm going to print something big, I'm not going to. And, and again, I just really don't have the room for it out here in my craft shed. So I'm going to find room for it in the house. Hopefully, I don't know. I might bring it out back and forth for me now. Out there, I don't know. Depending on what I print, um, but for the initial is going to be in the house in my other craft room. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, that this, so that's what I was getting around to, guys. Um, he wanted um a craft. I mean, he wanted that room in the house. So he can talk about he can learn how to learn how to play guitar. Uh, dude, you don't need a whole room to learn how to play guitar. You can learn how to do that in the bedroom. You don't need a room for that, um, because you ain't gonna use it just for that. No, we're not doing that. Um, but yeah. So this is all the piece. I can't take anything out because what I was seeing is that somehow you got to take the whole this whole piece of foam out of the box to get you know it's in layers. Or well, I probably could take it out. I don't know, but I'm not gonna do it out here. Um, but like I said, I'm going to take this back in the house. I'm going to put it, take it in the house. And when I do my first print, um, I'll be filming, most likely filming in the house. Uh, with my first print, 3D print, because, um, I, 
I don't know if there's another bag in here with some other stuff in it, but it does come with a um a f there these all the screws and stuff. Um, it's yeah, it's gonna be another no, one minute. Yeah, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be it's another bag in the bottom somewhere or in between somewhere in there with um other parts and pieces, and it's gonna have um. <clears throat> uh, me, um, micro memory card um, with some um, test files on it and you can uh, I also think it comes with a, a card reader too uh, so yeah so this is going to be fun um, because I almost decided not to get one because I said like you know what what am I going to do with this 3D printer like I really need one but then you know then I talk about it because I had to justify me getting you know wanting a, you know getting a 3D printer because I was thinking like because uh, I was I looked into the software that you can use to make your own um, FDM files and I, yeah, I kind of learned, learned all the terminology again, guys, because I was doing research on, you know, first of all, what printer to get and trying to learn some things about the 3D printing and stuff like that. So I know some of the terminology and parts and things like that. Uh, so <laughs> that's why I'm not a little bit knowledgeable about that. But anyway, I was doing research on the printer, 3D printers and everything. And um, I was looking at things to print. And I, I, I look, guys. Remember when I had mentioned that my grandson was out here? Damn. Oh, guys, I hate it. I got these darn Japanese beetles out here. They're not, they look like ladybugs, but they're not. They're Japanese beetles. And they always get out here in my shed. Uh, they're not too bad this year, but they get in my nerves. There's some got left in here. I'm going to get them all out before it got cold. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Um, I was learning, you know, things about 3D printing. Oh, that's what I was, you know, just find buying one. Okay, so, um, again, what I was going to say is that, do y'all remember me saying that my grandson was out here, my, my grandkids out here, and the three-year-old was, got to one of my crickets, and he pulled the knob off of it, and I couldn't find the knob. And um, so I was on Etsy and I was going there and I, I was looking at 3D printed like and they said a knob for the cricket. Oh my God! I ordered it. It was like with with shipping and uh, tax and everything. It was only like five dollars or something. But then with shipping and tax and everything, it was nine dollars. I didn't care. I needed a knob. I really didn't need one because I could just pop one up and put it. But I didn't want a machine would be without a knob. And it came in. It was white. I could have picked a black one. Or I think it was a black one or a white one. I didn't want black. I got white. Um, and it and then I put and I just pushed it out and I put it on my Cricut Explorer and I, it goes pretty good, you know. So it didn't have to be silver. I mean, I could have. When I got it, I said I can paint. I can spray paint it silver. But then when I switched it out with the Cricut my Explorer, and I put that, I put it on the, you know, my first Cricut that's all white. Well, not all white, but it's mostly white and it's blue under the bottom of it. it like it goes. Yeah, I like it. Those good white. So I, I just put it on there. And then, guys, so I come out here, and then I took one of my other Cricut Explorers in the house, and I took in my brother's scan and cut, and I took it in the house because I'm setting up this, the space in there. My granddaughter loves the scan and cut, and she like she knows how to use it without my supervision. And so I took that in and put it on her little desk. I got something she can use that. I'm not giving it to her. She can just use it. But anyway, so... Um, so I finally opened the uh, the last Cricut uh, Explorer that I got from uh, Home Depot. I finally took it out of the box. I have four of them now. And I brought it out here and I took um, a scan and cut in the house. So now all four of my Explorer 2's are out here in the craft shed. And I got one in the house. Wait a minute. Yeah, I got three out here and one in the house. Um... I brought the newer one out here, the one just the one fresh out the box out here. Two of them I bought that was already used, but they're still in good condition. So I brought the new ones out here, and um, one of the used was in the house. But anyways, so I put the um, I put the knob on there, and I brought this out here. Uh, I bought took my scan and cut in the house. So um, I keep forgetting what point I'm trying to get to. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I don't know. But um, I'm just anxious um, 
to, you know, learn how to do this and put this back in. And, uh, it, I, I, you know, um, I just, I, 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 that's what I was, again, trying to get to the point of, of justifying of buying a, a 3D printer. Because I was like, I don't know if I want, uh, I mean, what am I going to print with it? What, I, what am I going to print? And I, so, so things like that, that's what it made me print. I said, when, look, I move plastic parts or something like that, I can, I can print a, a replacing part myself. I don't have to go and buy one. And so that was one of the factors in me buying a 3D printer. Then I can say I can do the same, like, print parts for different, you know, things that I have, like, you know, like the, the 3D knob, I mean, like the knob of the Cricut or something like that. Um... I don't know. I was thinking, of, I, I, had, I had a list of things in my head. I can't think of them right now. But I had a list of things like, oh, I can print this. I can print that. I can print that. I can, you know, sell it in my shop when I would get that up and running again. And also print things that, like, I need things for. You know, like, if I misplaced something, like, my grandson pulling my knob off and losing it. And then, guys, that's what I was getting to. When I pulled out, when I dis unplugged and moved my scanner cut in the house, and one of my used, uh, Explore tools in the house under the shelf over there. There's a darn knob, so I have an extra knob. I uh, I kept the white one on that I ordered. You know, it's a three D printed one. I put I left that one on the uh, Cricut Explore Air, and now I got a spare knob. So just in case it happens again, he's not coming back and have my shit until he learns how not to touch nothing. But then he does he does have access to the room in the house. So if he pulls off another knob, I got a spare. So yeah, that's what I was getting to. But anyway, so guys, so this is my new toy. Um, I, I have plans for it. Um, I got and <laughs> guys, I got two other things that I ordered last year, and I think one of them I showed y'all that was the um the me our memory keepers mold press maker or whatever it was I showed us it and then I haven't I haven't used it since I have not used it at all well I used it one time I think I did one time on the thing because I I was using something and it didn't and wasn't sucking so I actually got me a small shop vac specifically for let me get it a small shop vet specifically for that darn uh me are we are memory keepers uh uh mold press this is my mini shop vac because i did i was able to use it with something else i can't remember what it was i used um but it, it then wasn't enough sucking power so i said that's not gonna be good so i went to home depot at, no Lowe's and I bought me a mini shop bag. So that's what that is. Haven't used it yet. I got another device. I'm not gonna bitch tell you what it is, but I start I, I did an unboxing on it. I filmed the unboxing and when I got it from Amazon, uh y'all haven't seen it yet because I'm loaded because I wanna do rest of the video <laughs> with me showing y'all um how I'm gonna you know, you know, like a using it and doing a review or whatever. And so I have bought things and um, I took out the box. Ooh, I'll put it back in the box. Um, or I took it out of the box and it's sitting on the shelf in here somewhere. I haven't used it yet. So I got a lot of videos to show. I got I to gotta get on the ball, Trish. You got to get back into it. Um, I want my next year, the 2023, to be a very productive year. Because um, I got all this stuff and I need to start using it. Um, I haven't really bought any like supplies or anything except I did buy more cardstock um, because I've been doing a lot of printing and I've been I got some other things I got to show you guys that I've been making um, other projects I've been making and I, the cardstock I got 110 cardstock and guys I looked up on 110 cardstock from Michaels and I love that paper uh, that card stock I got some one tip my mom had gave me some one tip card stock from Walmart and it's like it's, it feels the same as the 65 pound weight and you know then I got some from somewhere else and again it's felt like 65 pound when it wasn't 110 so guys I don't know about y'all Michaels but my Michaels when it says 110 it's 110 so uh, I don't think even think um, Hobby Lobby's 110 
the cardstock is 110. Um, I think that's why I probably I got another place where I got it and it wasn't 110. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to cut really good on my crickets. Um, so I'm going to see, I'm going to get some more uh, or get some of Hobby Wobby's 110 cardstock and see how well it cuts or if it's thick like, you know, the one from Recollections from Michaels. But guys, if y'all really want some thick cardstock, the real sturdy stuff and you don't want to be going online to order it, try your Michaels. Um, so anyway, so again, guys, when, um, when I come back with this, I'm going to have this up, set up and running, hopefully, soon. Um, I don't know if it's going to be this week um, or before next year because uh, me and the hubby are going to Alabama's uh, Sugar Bowl game this weekend. Uh, we're going to be leaving on my birthday on the 30th and come back on the 31st. It's going to be in uh, New Orleans. First time either of us being in New Orleans had <laughs> my brother. <laughs> My brother used to live in Slidell, Louisiana, and my and Brian called and asked him, like, is there some parts of uh, Slidell we shouldn't be in because that's where we're going to stay at because it's like 40, 30, 30, 40 something miles away from New Orleans and we just want to get to the, 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 the stadium and watch the game and then leave we out of them but that's my brother said he said yeah like you when you get it you just get it and get out don't stop just get you know you don't, you don't want to be stuck in there because it's crazy um you know so um we're going to be doing that this weekend so i don't know if it's going to be this week before i get that or if not then i'll obviously going to be next year but um i'm going to try to at least get it put together and set up and i'll show you that part and then when i actually use it um, Again, I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, get around to getting that part done because the thing about it is, is that my actual craft room inside is not, um, it's not that, um, it's not really set up. It's just organ. It's it's set up the way I want it, but I still have stuff to put away. But anyway, guys. So um, thanks for watching, and um, I know you're sick of my rambling, but uh, I'll be back, and uh, hopefully we have this thing set up and ready to go. Y'all have a crafty day. Bye.